historic Fenway Park here in Boston. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And today's starter, Brian Bayo. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. So ready to roll here at Fenway. That one, one way outside, and we're underway here this afternoon. And the 1 0. Bounced up the middle. Sends it to He's first. Out. One out in the top of the first. Here's the Guardians lineup now. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Josh Naylor. Bo Boog, just an on base machine. Last month, he was on almost half the time and OBP over 450. Just a really tough out. I mean, this guy's a catalyst for this offense right now. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's hard hit in the line. And a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One gone runner at first. Here's Jose Ramirez. Just missed. Here comes a pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Duran under this one. And there's two down. That is cool. The shortstop. John Naylor. Here's Josh Naylor. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. First pitch, just misses. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Go to second, out there, and that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here in Boston, and on the mound for Cleveland in this one, Logan Allen. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Now into the ball game on defense, Ryan Rocchio. He's in at shortstop. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Jaron Duran. The center fielder, Jaron Duran. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. 
He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfit. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Man at first with one gone. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Now he breaks his bat. But there's no play. That's an infield single. Goes to second. Safe there. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. I love the approach to handling that cutter on the inside corner. Didn't hit it hard, but he kept his hands tight to the body and just took that barrel directly to the baseball, and that's what allowed him to spray it out there and find a hole somewhere. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Reyes at second. O'Neill over at first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And now the lefty. And another ball. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And the hitters count. Bobby Dahlbeck waits on deck. Two on, one out. Fouls one away, and now three and two. At the belt and fires. Slow roller to first, and he grabs it. Foul. One out. Runners at first and second. Side and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck looking for his first big league hit right here. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. could be two fires home for one to first double play the old Lawrence Welk a one a two a three and that'll do it just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam In Boston. Here's Brian Rocchio. Brian Rocchio. And the right hander back to work. Rocchio oh measures five feet ten inches, 23 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. The pitch. Hey. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One out in second. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And here's the first baseman, David Fry. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one.
Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. Fair ball. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. One down. And next is the designated hitter, Ramon Laureano. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Second inning here, no score. Fouled off, he was late. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a pitch. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That one inside. Now one and two. Man at first, one away. Bale throws over. Fry back on a dive. And a one two. Ground ball right side could be two. To second, that's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4 6 3, inning ending double play. Here at Fenway Park, now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. And a base hit up the middle. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. That misses. Ball one. The pitch right through there for a strike. In oh, the dirt. Cool. Yeah, that's ball two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Wouldn't right. chase that time. Oh, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Sedin Rafaela to bat next. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. With the go-ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Payoff pitch. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. That's just a nasty pitch right there. I'm not surprised at all that he got the strikeout looking. You know, the plate looks like it's a fastball off the corner the entire way until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and 
brings it back to clip the outside corner. You just got to tip the cap sometimes, but overall, that's just a nasty pitch. So digging in, Sedane Rafaela. And that one is in for a strike. A one down. Right through there for a strike. And that one is in the dirt. And yeah, the count one and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Yoshida stands at first with one out. That's down and in. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And two away now. Well, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Next to hit, David Hamilton. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The That's shortstop the takes the ball. That's Next one misses. Two. And that's ball two. And here it comes. That's towards center. Freeman on the move. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. And the Red Sox leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's Andres Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Austin Hedges now. Pickoff move to first, and he's back in safely. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. run at first nobody out we're here in the top half of inning number three on the ground right side four they put the tag on him back to first and that is a double play so two down now and here is Gabriel Arias That one clips the outside corner. It's 0-1. Swing and a pop-up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. That one nope. just misses. It's a good take. Got him 
him swinging. He chased the changeup. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Back now at Fenway. Now batting Jaron Duran. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Hits the corner, and that is strike two. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does oh, that, he'll play a long time in this league. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now one away. Pablo Reyes stands in. One for one with a single so far. In the air, right field. Arias hauls it in, and there's two away. Now, back, the designated hitter. now Tyler. it's the DH, Tyler oh, O'Neill. Reached on an infield single his first time. Up the middle, Rokio fires to first on the run. They get the out, and that'll do it. Down in order, go the Red Sox. Still no score. All set for the start of the inning. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside. Takes his swing, now would appeal to third. And he won around just enough that time. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Pitch misses there. It's two and two. Righty delivers. Got it. Lee off and a retired in the fourth. And up next for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman. And he's already singled in this game. Inside corner for a strike. 10 release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. That one drifts inside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. One down, base is empty. Ground ball up the middle. Hamilton in plenty of time to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Now it's Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Brian Rocchio. 
Pitch nope. misses there. And that's ball one. Move to first. No, he's in there. Rudder takes off. Strike in there. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Good steal a second right there, and now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. Two outs. And a count one and two. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Top half of inning number four. And another ball. Second two down. He goes down looking. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Here at Fenway Park, now batting Tristan Casas. The first baseman, Allen, back to work. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Oh, and two now. That's a little bit low. One ball, two strikes, count. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Dolby in the box now. Take strike one. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Off the plate, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Two outs, space is empty. Next offering upstairs. Connor Wong hitting on deck circle. Oh, 
3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. And on the run for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Two outs, runner at first. Connor Wong now at the plate. Ball one, no it's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. The pitch. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. The 1 2. And a swing and a miss. And the inning is over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now into the game, Willier Abreu. He'll be out in left field. So digging in, David Fry. The first baseman, number six, David Fry. The line to kick the pitch. That one, one not close, and it's one to no. Just missed. The pitch. And fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. Oh, they've had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Loriano. Here's Ramon Laureano. He hit into a double play his first time up. That one misses. And that is ball one. Fry gets his lead at first with nobody out. On the ground to third. Oh, great stop. Dolbeck. Toss to second. And two. What a play. Well, one thing you expect from your man on the hot corner is a strong arm. On display right there as he makes the diving stop. Throws from the knees to start a double play. Wow. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. One off the mark. Going to count one and two. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. And he deals. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year. It's 1-0.
Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. He's just too good of a hitter at the plate. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Austin Hedges stands in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And the right hander deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Started after the one two pitch, appeal to first, and he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. with the solo shot to take an early lead and the home team down a run you're dialed into the show back inside Fenway Park ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping in for Boston Sidane Rafaela here comes a pinch and that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And another ball. Fall off foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. The 2 2 on the way. To the right side. Jimenez throw to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. He's 0 for 1. And he takes a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Deal two. One ball, two strikes. A one run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. of the pitch and the one two misses to even the count really good take especially with two strikes that's the third Rokio 
throw. And he can't dig it out. Safe on the play. Almost a great play there. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. So the lineup flips over. Here's the center fielder, Jaron Duran. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Allen checks over to first, and he's back. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. That's first offering, and it just misses. With the winning run at the plate, last half of inning number five. Outside corner, there's a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Left-hand batter waits. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And they're down to their last out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. You know, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. And now Pablo Reyes slapped the other way, foul. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? At the belt and fires. Oh, and that's outside. Ball. And a count even, one and one. High fly ball out towards left field. He powers that one out of here. And the Red Sox walk it off. a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.